I'm Hellion of Hubris, and I'm here today with my handy dandy snake whip to demonstrate and explain to you how a fireball is made with a fire whip. Now, ordinarily, when you crack a whip, it makes a roll which carries down to the very end. That's how you get the crack at the end. It's going so fast when it unrolls that it actually breaks the sound barrier close to the end of the whip. When you have soaked your whip in fuel, it's squishy. And when you get that roll going down, it actually pushes the fuel toward the end of the whip until it gets to the very end, and then it just pushes it out the end. I'm going to demonstrate this by taking my nylon bull whip, pardon me, not bull whip, snake whip, and dunking it in water. And right now I'm only dunking about the last probably foot of the whip maybe 18 inches, plus the fall on the cracker. And as you can see, it made a spray of mist, which when it's on fire, will take the fire with it and shoots the fuel into the air, keeping it on fire very much in the same way that fire breathers do it. And that is how a fireball is made with a fire whip.